Uh, the Joe Bun Podcast. Big argument uh, erupted. By the way, I don't know. Like, let me see. Is it this? Watch this. Why are you not just believe in your friend? Let me stop. stop. Why are you not just believe in your friend? And why do you keep? You why is it a repeated issue that you believe women? Can you see his point of not believing the girl? You 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 keep doing it. Stop. Yo, did the girl say he or something? Yes. Uh, That's why he's sitting there acting like. Okay, so this is like a repeated like theme on the Joe Bun podcast. Ish, who is this other guy here? He's a co-host. He deals with the woman, and later on, after he stops dealing with the woman, Joe Budden hangs with said woman. He feels it's scummy, and he feels Joe isn't acting like a friend if Joe is trying to fuck a, you know, one of his previous women. And I think it's just guy code, right? Like, yo, if you try to fuck my ex-girlfriend, you're a piece of shit. If I took her serious other than it was just like some one-night shit, I think she's a hoe, I don't give a fuck who fucks. Unless is that I'm going to take offense to you trying to fuck my sloppy seconds or you trying to go behind me and have sex with a girl that you probably met from me. Here's the conversation that and I think this is about the second or third time they were having this on the pod, but they're talking about some new girl again. Here we go. Did the girl say he tried to fuck her or something? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, That's why he's sitting there acting light skin. Uh, bro. The fuck are we talking about? You keep screaming and light skin uh, bullshit. And and stop. So hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah, now I gotta uh, wait, wait. Let me ask you. You're one about question. to piss me off and I'm gonna start screaming back at you. Wait, can Nigga, I ask this a question? Is, stop. Real quick? This is about so you always you saying you not coming behind us when we fuck with a bitch. You knew I fuck with the bitch. You met the bitch through me and you came behind her. You should have never kissed her if that's your instance. Ish. I, you Yo, keep I ignoring me saying I have acting not like I'm met, crazy. I do not this nigga be fucking lying. I don't know this girl from you. You do. I you do. You met her through me. You get you the I convenient don't. amnesia. So any bitch I no, fuck behind you, I don't know no, neither. No. I meet him through you. No, it's that's your see bad. How easy that be? You like fucking you see behind how easy niggas. That be? You like fucking I behind though. niggas. I don't. I like women. I don't even ask niggas. I like women. Yo, you fuck. So I, what? I don't do so, none of that. So, that's your bad. Stop I'm trying to put me in your not. bag. You do I'm not in your bag. I didn't try to fuck your little mutt from the streets. Oh. I had a kiss, <laughs> and you emotional about. It. I'm not like you keep being emotional yo, when we have internet. Nah, it's kind of crazy. I think both of these guys are like nearing fifty. They're arguing about who kissed like. Here's the funny part about it. Some stripper. Like, the chick is like some random stripper. Like, you know what I mean? Now, granted, you know, I've gone through my my favorite girl issues, so, like, I'm not going to be casting judgment here, but it does sound on face value ridiculous. Y'all arguing about who kissed the stripper, bro? Like, the, the mere fact she's a stripper already, I would expect no loyalty from said woman. My girl. No, it's, it's not, not about the girl. No, it's about you lying. Then why don't you believe your friend? Because you fucking lie. Okay, so Ish is now re repositioning the argument. He says, I don't care about the girl. Is that you've been telling us that you don't fuck with girls that we fuck with, and that's a lie because you do. So he's saying that he's checking Joe over the line, not necessarily the female. You've admitted exactly. this to me before. Exactly. You're changing your story my case. for the pod. I rest my case. you changing your story to look innocent for the pod. Nigga, we've had this conversation about this bitch before. I rest my case. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? Yo, this is horrible podding. I, I don't even talk about this shit on the pod. I rest my case. I totally rest my case. I don't even have these talks. I don't even have these type of talks with nobody but him. Bro, you bought this shit up, bro. Yes, because you bought, so stop saying I don't ish, have these talks if you bringing it it's, up. It's funny to me oh, until oh. I know that you have true emotions behind this. Oh. You just screamed to the top of your lungs. And you didn't. That, you didn't and let you me didn't. finish. Nigga, you were screaming off mic. You still not letting me finish. You were screaming off mic, beating and, the tables and, and all that dumb and shit. Now I'm and not, then you try to make me look emotional ish, for the pod. Ish, Bro, stop. I'm not done stop, with my yo, sentence. Stop. Great podcasting. I like this. Love shouts, love arguments. It's great. Stop you screaming to the top of your lungs that I shouldn't have kissed the girl. And you're trying to say that you don't have emotions about it. Do behind. I give a fuck about that girl? Then why'd you just say it? I'm asking you a question. I don't know. You do know. I don't know. Now, this is where you get goofy. Nigga, you've known me for a long enough that. time to know I don't give a fuck about that girl. I don't know you who do niggas know. give a you fuck. Do know. I, I, don't you give, do know. I know that now you love I would, you hope, do I would hope that no, you don't. I'm asking Joseph Ice. Anthony Button Jr., does Antoine Marby give a fuck about that girl? I said I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying no. <laughs> now, I seen the girl on, on Instagram, and this is why I said, like, me and most people have so different tastes. Bro, the, the only thing that's... 
the chick is just another BBL chick, bro. Like, I think all them girls kind of look alike, but clearly she's a subject of a conversation or argument here. You know, I'm but he asked me. Girl. I know. He's I know. lying. I'm just, no, he's lying. In these conversations, you I want everybody to know on the world, these conversations don't be about a girl. It's the principle. It don't right? be about a girl. It's to be about, it's about a nigga the saying that they don't do something no. or they do do and something an and not standing and on what they say they do or don't do. That's what these conversations the be about. Because the woman he's talking about is from the sewer like Das Effects. I do not know her from you, nigga. No. I don't know her from you. I'm sorry. Other niggas had your bitch outside. It wasn't my bitch. Then shut the fuck up in 2024. You sound Yo. dumb. Yo. You sound stupid. <laughs> you sound stupid. Bitch. It's not my bitch. <laughs> you sound dumb, my nigga. Yo. All this performative shit you doing, Yo. it sounds Yo. stupid. Yo. My nigga, like, again, we talk about what we would and won't do. Yes. All the time. Yes. And then when niggas yes. contradict themselves, what they do is move the goalposts to justify them saying I would or wouldn't do something. No, you moving it because you're emotional. I'm not. I think you are. I'm entitled to my opinion. I think you're emotional. You sweating, your face is red. I I'm think not you're emotional sweating at about all. this bitch. It don't matter. That's what I think. You just you do can. something. So you're not emotional? I'm you've been beating shit off Mike. So that's not performative for the pod. You smacking the fucking about to break the marble. Who's emotional the here? people that I love. <laughs> Who's emotional? Nah, 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 nah. I, I, Who's okay. emotional here? Oh, we are. I end with this. <laughs> the people that... <laughs> I, love, I love this the pod. These niggas are fucking cool, The people yo. that I love, I don't talk about who they kissed. Man, this nigga Joe Budden is back at it again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you this, man. Ish, save your blood pressure, man, and realize that Joe, when it comes to the camera being on, is a master at eliciting emotions for a good, for good content. That's it. Um, Joe is somebody who will probably don't care about something, but knows how to trigger people. I think that's a skill of his. You know, people like that. They know how to trigger you. They know how to get you upset. They know how to get a rise out of you. And Joe is someone who I believe uses that for content. And it's it's kind of brilliant because it's organic. It comes across as passionate. And yeah, like, you know what I mean? Whether this is something that they're really that upset about, clearly they weren't that upset about it if they didn't address this a long time ago. But it's great content for a podcast because you get to see two people with two different dispositions actually argue over something. So. I'm not mad over it. You know what I mean? Joe's just Joe's really good at what he's he's done. Well, you know one thing I, I, I've I've said. You know, Ish is a great talker as well. You know he he's eloquent in expressing himself. But I have to give Joe credit for his development or his skills to develop other talent. It's like he he's almost like a Bill Belichick type of nigga. Like he knows what you need to do to get to the next level. And if he can inspire it in you already. He'll do some shit to drag it out of you, if you if that makes sense to you, right? So, uh, yeah, I thought that was a great podcast. I'm not gonna lie. Somebody says content at the expense of your co-host is not good content. Well, has been picked up by the feds. Okay. Apparently, uh, he was arrested by federal authorities because of uh, allegedly. A conspiracy to traffic marijuana, right? Which, by the way, just kind of seems odd. Like, what the hell would be, like, conspiracy to traffic marijuana? We don't have much information on it. But apparently this week is his birthday. Um, according to what Hot New Hip Hop is saying, he just uh, he just dropped a new song called Federal Nightmare, which had his fans thinking that, you know, that song, he, he might be, like, forecasting what um, why he got locked up. Let me, let me go look at this thing. Federal Nightmare. This is a song here. Is there a video? Oh, this is the video shoot. <laughs> Down on the cows, one hundred thousand, I ain't going broke. Turn down on the day, yeah, the bitch wet, nigga, it's so so. Got that money, you ain't having chicken. The biggest, the biggest bubble chain inside. Shit, when they um, listen. Dice will live in ni
blows in. Let him have it. Yeah, this looks like some normal hood shit. Like, I, I don't know why people think that this was like a, like some type of like he could have seen that he was about to get locked up. I don't even know if he's completely locked up. I have one of his man's info. I'm probably gonna hit him to see if he's actually incarcerated. But that just kind of seems a little vague. He's arrested for conspiracy to traffic marijuana. What the hell is conspiracy to traffic marijuana? Does it mean he was already trafficking marijuana or like he was trying to conspire to do it, but he didn't do it yet? I like Boss of Richie and, and like I like his music and shit like that. But like these charges are like super vague. Give me one second. Where the hell are I? I'm trying to look up to see if I could find him being incarcerated somewhere, but I can't. He been a D boy before music. Somebody said, "Oh no, he was about to do it." Somebody said, "Nah, it's because he's the Bubba man." Drill says, "Read the article." The article doesn't say anything. It's according to new reports, Boston Richie was arrested by federal officers for allegedly conspiring to traffic marijuana. The reason why I like I stop here because these companies now, like even Hot New Hip Hop, they write articles off of an Instagram post. Like they they're writing this article off of this one no jumper post, right? So they talk about his like past history. Unfortunately, this ain't the first running in the law with him. His latest development has brought out discussion of his 2013 arrest as well as stinging allegations he faced last year. Reportedly, and two others were blah, 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 stolen vehicle case. Yeah, they're not really saying too much. Let me see. Boston Richie. We can't even find like a Florida publication, like a legit publication who's like reporting about it. It's only hot new hip hop. Yeah, we can't find anything else, like, talking about it. All right. Somebody said, sound like some bullshit to talk to him. Isn't he a snitch? Shit, well, if he's a snitch, like, he wouldn't be going to jail. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm a street dude and I tell, bro, like, I tell on, I tell in every case. Nigga, I'll never go to jail. Nigga, I'll, like, I'll be on some Charleston White shit. I'll just keep a few crimes in memory. That as soon as you buy a lot me up, nigga, I tell you I solve them crimes for you, and I go home. Somebody say he's singing right now? Shit, I wouldn't be in there singing, nigga. I'd be in there rapping. Regardless, with whatever I'm doing, nigga, I'm getting out, nigga. Somebody say he's not. Tara says, nigga, he's not in jail. You don't think so? Maybe he's not in jail. And this is like promo because this kind of sounds promo for like most of the music he's making. Like imagine the guy who's talking about he's the Bubba man. He's blah, 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 blah. He actually gets a charge for doing exactly what you heard him say he does in his music. It actually makes his music hit a little bit harder, right? Larry Nilly, thank you for the two, by the way. So I said, act, you would make a movie. So I said, thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Academics. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You catch me in the back of the police car on some yaya shit like fuck. Nigga, I might tell on the whole county, nigga. Be like, yo, y'all go back to, yo, yo, I, yo, I got this like SD card in my pocket. Take it out, yo. Pause, by the way, don't take it out, yo. Y'all got a camera, yo. You see, you see that nigga in my music video right there? Yo, that nigga just killed three people. I can tell you where the bodies are get. Uh, the, I'll tell you where the bodies are buried. As long as y'all let me out of these cuffs right now, I'll show you to it. We could drive there. Wasn't there one nigga who actually did that? It's some Chicago niggas. Terry, I love you too. Okay. All right, yeah, so it, it might be promo. We don't know what where it is because we, we can't, like, there's no actual main outlet that's covering this at this point. Okay. What else did I miss? There's a few things that I definitely missed. Please spam up them topics real quick. Um... Rock Nation not hosting this annual Grammy brunch. Okay, we'll talk about that, I guess, right? 
So there's a lot of rumors and speculation happening because Rock Nation has now announced that they're not hosting their legendary pre-Grammy brunch. And now people are wondering what's up. So it says Music A-List will have one less party to attend this Grammy weekend. A source confirmed to Paid Six that Jay-Z and Rock Nation will not host their annual exclusive pre-Grammy brunch party on Saturday. Okay. Uh, they've been hosting brunch since 2011. The event returned last year after taking a two-year hiatus due to the COVID pandemic. And past guests have included Rihanna, Katy Perry, Kim K, Janelle Monet, Kevin Hart, Meg Thee Stallion, of course, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. But we hear that the power duo will also be on the party sale. Music Insider for the couple tells, it that, tells us they'll be at Clive Davis pre-Grammy Gala on Saturday to support their friend and CEO of Sony Music Publishing, John Platt, who is being honored with the event's Grammy Salute to Industry Icons Award. Meanwhile, there are other plenty of parties to make up for Rock Nation's absence. Should we read anything into this? There's a little bit I think we can read into this. I think I think a lot of these people are trying to lay low. I know it says like Jay-Z and Beyonce are still going to be out and about just at some other shit. If you remember like some of the, let's look at some of the people who's been there. Like I think Diddy was there the last time. Oh, Rock Nation Brunch 2023. Let's see if we can find some pictures. Yeah, if this was 2023, you got Diddy here, Fat Joe, Khaled, some other niggas. Yeah, uh, you got Yo Gotti. I could see, like, a couple people in this picture probably want to lay low right now. Gotti just allegedly buried his brother. Uh, Diddy's in a whole lot of hot water. Jay and them probably, you know, just don't want to be making the biggest splash on the scene right now. And Khaled, I think that nigga will go anywhere. But other people that have gone there, let me see. Is that Burner Boy? The fuck is that? Yeah, I'm not going to read too much into it on why they canceled. Why do y'all think they canceled? I think most of these, like, top guys want to lay low, bro. They want to lay low. Niggas is getting exposed left and right. The brunch ain't the right time. Low key, like everybody knows, like the brunch, the brunch might even be like the fucking recruitment place for like the freak offs and shit like that. I think people want to lay low. Somebody said, nigga, you said burner boy. That's Jalen Brown. My bad, nigga. This ain't the time for all the other shenanigans going on. So I think they're all bunkering down. Niggas is getting sued left, right, and center. People are being exposed for freak offs, all type of weird, you know, behavior. And I think people want to chill. Take, let's take this year off. Somebody said first, they said after the brunch is the freak off. <laughs> Hilarious. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I'm not reading too much into it. Anyway. Uh man, oh man, oh man. So. Joe Budden and you feel me? I don't really know everyone on the podcast and stuff, but man, I guess they was beefing and stuff, <clears throat> or they were mad about you feel me, a female or something. Uh, for the people who watch the Joe Budden podcast and stuff, is Joe Budden like a staple in hip hop now? Like, did he find his niche in hip hop? Because no one really, you feel me, his music career is done and stuff. <clears throat> I know he probably has like a top five hip hop podcast. You feel me? Joe Budden. I mean, I'm happy for him. He found his niche. He's doing well. <clears throat> He's definitely making millions of dollars doing this. Um, shit, man. I don't even know. I am happy for my guy, Joe Budden. I don't really know much about this, <clears throat> so I don't really have that much to say, but if you know your man's is talking to a girl, are you going to like try and talk to that girl as well if you know your man's is already talking to her? Because I'm guessing that's what they was beefing about. <clears throat> Personally, me, I wouldn't do that because that's like some snake, fake, grimy shit, but y'all let me know what y'all would do in dude's situation and... <clears throat> 
you feel me another situation but it's your boy big act news uh if someone could educate me about this joe button stuff i'd really love to know it's big act news make sure you like comment subscribe and i'm out